Christina Aguilera wearing Atelier Versace. Oh, you just want to look at her and say, are you eight months? <laughs> yeah, I, I never, I mean, just uh, there, you know, it looks like Snooki goes blonde. I've never seen anything like this. I have two words, drag queen. <laughs> you know, there is such a thing as being too glamorous. It's like too much makeup, too much hair. If she would have just done 1930s Jean Harlow hair and makeup, she would have looked great. Well, she would have looked better. <laughs> <laughs> I have to tread lightly on this one because people know that I have a history with her, but she just looks terrible. Terrible. Oh, God. <laughs> she just looks oh. terrible, and I actually feel really sorry for her. Yeah. I do too, then. What's going on? The hair, the makeup, it's like a clown. I mean, it's too much, you know what I mean? And then with that the fake dress, tan? everything, everything. Wrong head to it's, toe. It's like Paris Hilton on steroids. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Heidi Klum. Oh. Guess who's single again? Yeah, exactly. Oh my God! The last time a German looked this hot was when they were pushing Jews into the ovens. It is just Michelle Williams, Valentino Resort, 2011. Oh. And I think she's so. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Bad hair, bad dress, made from a tacky bedspread. I mean, I think, I think this is more effective than an IUD. I think this dress. <laughs> This dress is fashion birth control. That's what this dress is. You know, I, I really, really want to like this dress because Why? I love her. Because it's whimsical and fun. I don't like, it doesn't fit her on the bus. It does. And that's what ruins it for me. But I want to like it. That's the only thing that ruins yeah. it for you? This would have been great, like, uh, in the Hamptons at a luncheon. Like, you walk in, everyone's like, so pretty. Yeah. You know, have a mimosa. Like, it's, you know. No, you guys, it doesn't fit her better. Her boobs just don't look good. Yeah. I oh, think it would have looked right. sensational. Oh, lady's shoulders. Looks like she's hiding her bra. That's the kind of stuff <laughs> right. I wear. Helena Bonham Carter, Vivian Yee! Westwood. All right. say thank you to Helena because on this show I constantly learn things that I didn't know. For example, did you know you could make hair extensions out of pubic hair? I had no idea. <laughs> Naomi Campbell, Dolce and Gabbana. I'm not going to say anything bad about <laughs> Naomi Campbell. <laughs> oh no, now I'm scared. <laughs> Naomi, where's my camera? Naomi, you're looking fabulous! <laughs> Let's start with Kesha in this dress by Jade Gandour. <laughs> oh, I think it's a nice dress. I'd love to see it on a female. I think it would be just... <laughs> she's a boyish figure, no waist, straight up and down. She's beautiful legs, glad she's showing them. But she should be wearing something with a bodice that's going to cinch in her thing, something yes. with bias cut that will create curves. It, what the hell is this? It's just like, what are you okay, doing? Can you please look at her facial expression. She's owning it. Yeah. And that's what makes yeah. me love her even more. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait, what? You call that owning it? Look at it. No. That's the face of, I know this is a horrible outfit that's going to end up on Fashion Police. But, uh, it, that's that face. That's what makes me love her, though. It's, one of the, it's so bad. It's so bad. Next, we have Nicki Minaj wearing this by Mark Fast, Spring 2011. When you wear something that is crazy and kooky, but it fits you perfectly and it makes your body look good and you want to own it, why yeah. not? If it yeah. makes you feel good, why not? She wants to dress like a, a cat toy. Go for it. <laughs> it My favorite thing is that her pink wig has blonde roots. I love that. <laughs> that is the best part of the outfit. Genius. But this was, like, this was off the runway, okay? She modified it, she took the sleeves off and filled in the, the jumpsuit area, but it's kind of like, how did that booty fit into a runway sample? Spandex. I, just, I don't like it. I think Nikki always wears outrageous things and we love it, because there's some fashion behind it. Like when she wore the cheetah print with the hair to the uh, Grammys, like animal prints are in. This, what's in about this? She looks like a, a late night hooker. Next, we have Kanye West, who performed in this Celine ladies' blouse. Ooh. I thought that it was beautiful when I saw the picture. No one's making a fuss. Oh, it's a woman. The woman wore it wore on the runway. Yeah. But what is the big fuss well, about that? Khloe uh, Kardashian has been wearing women's clothes for years. <laughs> Oh, 
Lady Gaga in the womb. This is the egg arrival or the womb arrival. She was incubating. What do we what say about us. this? I'm not gonna say anything nasty. She came in an egg, and uh, some people will do anything not to have to speak to Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, we'll talk about this. I have to do a full disclosure here because uh -huh. I was supposed to be one of the people, seriously, they asked me uh, to, to walk around in the entourage really? and hold the thing, huh. but I got fired when I raised my hand after the first meeting. I said, <laughs> is it just me or uh, am I the only one that thinks this is bull <laughs> I mean, it's just... create a crazy sensation on the red carpet, yeah. so I will give her props for that. I mean, it, it was like, it was a thing. I mean, you guys remember, it, it was insane. This will be a moment that people remember at the Grammys forever. Yeah. It really yeah. had an impact. It did have that wow factor. But I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't <laughs> understand why her dancers have used condoms for clothing on. It looks gross. It was very clinical. It does, and it just ma it makes me think of the smell of talcum powder. It's just weird. Mm. Yeah, I mean, the only thing I can say about this is, you know, Lady Gaga is a true fashionista in the sense that she's very committed to things. Like, and, and this is committed, to show yeah. up in a womb, and she had a, a, an oxygen mask on, yeah. and a little fan blowing in there. For an hour in 80 degree downtown LA, ugh. I mean, that's that's 80 degree heat, yeah. you know? So good for Lady Gaga, at least she was committed. I expected I mean, a transformation though, major transformation. We haven't seen her in a few months. I was a little bit let down. I wanted to see her. Yeah, I didn't I want to see the I said that all at the right? meeting before they fired me. I, said, I love it. They want to see you, bitch. They want to see you. Yeah. I think it's genius, though. I really do. Yeah. Thigh high boots are back on everyone. George, help me out, okay? Who looks good? Who looks bad? And do we like this trend? How do you make it work? I love this trend. I think there's something very naughty that women are responding to. J-Lo nailed it. She's very bohemian on top, so the you know thigh high boots really work with what she's wearing. I like the unstructured look of it. Evan Rachel Wood does not work. The yeah. dress doesn't fit her, it's not so cute. The she looks, yeah. Wear these <laughs> to the VD clinic. You know, like, yeah. The fishnets, she looks like a prostitute. I yeah. mean, that's not, if you're gonna do that, then wear it with opaque tights or sheer hose to elongate your leg and not make you look so trashy. Okay, and who else? Sierra nailed it for a red carpet look, but it looks like she might be getting nailed somewhere else yeah, later. Oh, <laughs> she looks like, really like a blow-up doll. All she needs is an open mouth. I mean, but I, I personally love thigh-high boots because you don't have to shave your legs. Monique, Monique must be so happy at last, at last. Okay, girls, what do you think? Yes or no? I say gotta have it. Gotta I have love them. I don't want it. Make it stop. Make, Make it, it stop. 50-50. Yeah. Rihanna and Jada Pinkett Smith in Poochie. Oh, even Winona Ryder would not steal this dress. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, and I know this is the latest thing, the, the print and that whole look with the big shoulders. I know that, but... Uh, Right now, it's just wrong. I think it's terrible. This is not made for dignified actresses. Pucci is for rock stars like Shakira and you know Fergie and Rihanna. She looks ridiculous. They look like they they hug people that were in the oil spill. You know, what I mean? it's like <laughs> stupid. You know, for me, I actually think it's really exciting that they've used a print like this because it's not the typical Pucci print. I do prefer it on Rihanna. I think it's more age appropriate for her but I actually like the dress. I'm with Kelly a thousand percent. I, I, I love the dress. I think Jada took it too seriously mm -hmm. with the extreme, you know, with the hair very elegant. This is a fun, crazy, wild, young dress. Rihanna works it. <laughs> Moving on to Lily Allen and Kate Hudson in this poncho by Louis Vuitton. Okay, let's just look at Lily. I mean, she really needed the scarf. Like it needs to be, <laughs> to be pumped up. Is she out of her mind? <laughs> Lily looks like a bag lady. I'm a fan of mixed prints. The chevron and the leopard have nothing to do with each other. I understand that she's pregnant. She's probably trying to hide her bump, but she's got this thing where she has one thing and she sticks to it, and that's scarf. Why would she ever put that Why? with that? Lily has a third nipple, so she usually wears things that are done, done. to cover it. How do you know that? I know that. Kate Hudson, so simple and chic, like Catherine Deneuve and Lauren Hutton. I love it. I think she looks great. Well, Kate Hudson blows Lily away, but I, I, agree. Say, I wish I'd seen her in leggings. I, I would have liked no. to see the leggings. No, yeah. she's covered yes. up. No, but, she covered up. I, but I love that all those lines. She has better lines in that cape than she has in her last seven movies. <laughs> <laughs> I, <it's> just, uh... <laughs> 
Jessica Alba, Valentino Haute Couture. Okay, now she's in one of those short front January Jones long dress. They look like ass capes. I don't understand it. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> she looks like an Atlantic City hooker who got a sewing machine for one of her Johns and no lessons. I mean, <laughs> Am I wrong? She looks like she went to the bathroom and <laughs> tore the paper got stuck. I think that when January Jones did it, it was a bit much. This is a modern version, a sexy, fun mm. modern version of that dress. I kind of like it. It's it's more fluid. It's sheer. It's flowing. It trails. She has fantastic legs. I think she looks really pretty, but I'm so not a fan of the mullet dress. It's like I wouldn't do it with my hair. I wouldn't do it on my dress. I just think it's really unattractive. This girl has a great waist. She yeah. looks boxy. The hair up. Ugh. I, you know, wear it down and sexy. It made it too kind of elegant and, and old. It just looks stupid. <laughs> it's like, it's, no, we're just like, make up your mind. It's like three different well, dresses in one. Natalie Portman, Rodarte gown. That's a star, mm -hmm. darling. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. is a star. I mean, this girl is perfect, perfect, perfect. What she wears, what she thinks, what she does. I bet she's got the cure for cancer in her purse. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like she's perfect. She is perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> this dress is fabulous. This is Rodarte by Kate and Laura Malevi, two sisters. They're very cerebral designers, yet they've managed to make this very red carpet and very like mass appealing. And I never would have normally put a white bag with a dress like that and gold shoes, but it ends up really working for her. Mary J. Blige versus Drew Barrymore and Catherine Melandrino. Uh, I like the dress, but uh, Mary looks like she's a baked potato in that one. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't work for me. It doesn't yeah, work for me. She, it's, it doesn't fit on the hips. I love Drew Barrymore in it. The Balmain belt that she's wearing mm -hmm. really just gives it like a nice rock and roll look. I love it on her. I really like what Drew Barrymore's been doing lately, and I think it, it does look much better on her. Yeah. Katy Perry versus Serena Williams in Dolce & Gabbana. Okay. Um, she didn't just steal that dress, bitch. She stole her corner. I mean, this... <laughs> <laughs> her corner. <laughs> And I love animal print, but come on. I, I love that. Ten cents a dance. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love that dress on Katy Perry. And I also love it when I put it on Christina Aguilera with the same necklace five months ago for a magazine oh. cover. <laughs> oh. I think it's a crap dress all around. I don't think it looks good on either one of them, but I will say I love the fact that she's wearing it with a boot. Oh, yes. Williams has a broken foot and she's still rocking that. Good girl. But really, a teddy on the red carpet. Don't wear a negligee or teddy on the red carpet. It doesn't look I'm, like a dress to I me. don't like the dress. I don't like way. it, Serena. I love it on Katie. I think she looks great. Natalie Portman versus Kat Dealey in Lon Vaughn. Okay, now. <laughs> oh! Even if Natalie Portman doesn't look good, then you know this dress is all. This red dress is a great dress to wear. It looks like a blood clot. Good to wear on like heavy flow days, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> this is fashion people getting caught up in like, this dress is fabulous, oh. it's Lamont, it's fabulous. And it just doesn't photograph well. It looks like, I'm sure there's some intellectual reason behind this dress and this red swath, but it's it's just messy. She looks like she's wearing a tablecloth and the shoes are just too big for her. They, they fit her fine in the hotel, but then she dropped 10 pounds on the way to the premiere and that's what happens. <laughs> I have that dress. I usually, when I don't wear it, I put it over a little table in my entranceway. I have a bowl of flowers, some keys. It's great. I want to show this outfit to the kids working in my windowless sweatshop so they can see what real embroidery looks like. Because those little shits don't get it at all. <laughs> what I want to know is how could someone this hot be in a Star Trek movie. I mean, God, those nerds today have it so good. I mean, she's <laughs> wasted. <laughs> what am I gonna tell you? Great legs, beautiful arms, but I have to say the same thing that Hillary Clinton said to Bill. I have a problem with the head. <laughs> you know, maybe Kate just did a client in a car and she's in a car wash trying to remove that Congressman smell, you know? <laughs> Look at the writing on her knee. It says, if you're reading this, then the rest of my outfit is not doing its job. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez versus Selma Hayek wearing this Gucci shrug. Okay, now, uh, 
I love J-Lo. I thought she looked beautiful, but the hair, and I told her it's pulled too tight. She was peeing through her mouth. I thought that was such a <laughs> mistake. Oh my God. But I love J-Lo. She was my best a couple weeks ago. She looks amazing. Salma, her husband owns all of these fashion houses. He owns Bottega, YSL, Gucci, Stella McCartney. Why the hell is she wearing something that J-Lo just wore two weeks ago? It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Because she's going right because from there to the it. Rose Parade as a float. <laughs> she is not stupid. There's a reason why Feather Bow is aren't in style anymore. <laughs> People just don't need all of that around their neck and it just takes away from so much. But. You know, it kind of makes me love Salma because she's like, I don't care if J-Lo wore it, I'm going to wear it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, come on, dude, she's Jennifer Lopez. She looks hot. I think she looks amazing. Agreed. So I say J-Lo's the hotter bitch. OK, audience, <laughs> audience, <laughs> who wore the shrug better, J-Lo or Salma? J-Lo! J-Lo, absolutely. OK, absolutely. J-Lo, J-Lo. Yes, J-Lo. <laughs> OK, who's next? Jane Fonda versus Sierra, wearing this dress by Emilio Pucci. I have to disqualify myself because I wore this dress. I <laughs> yes, I tried it on and I didn't buy it because I said to the sales, I, I don't like the, lo the long white tassels. And she said, no, those are your <laughs> coming through the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Jane Fonda admitted that she was bulimic in the 80s. And I think we have to learn from this that it pays off. <laughs> I mean, she looks great. She's joking. She's joking. Um, I think they both look amazing. Yes. But come on, Jane Fonda is 73 years old, and she is holding her own with this 20-something girl. And this dress was a custom-made, like a couture version of Ciara's dress, which is jersey. Jane Fonda takes the cake with this. I mean, look at her. It's unbelievable how somebody could wear the same dress and be so far apart from each other in every sense of the word. Love it on Jane Fonda. She made this slutty dress look really classy. <laughs> and you know there's great rivalry between them because Jane Fonda is now going out with Little Bow Wow. And, uh, <laughs> is that right? We asked you at home who wore it best, and you agreed with all of us. Jane Fonda, 61 <laughs> Okay, and I hope I look that good when I'm Jane's age. <laughs> Here we go, Penelope Cruz wearing Marquesa. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Now she looks like a movie star, but somebody must tell Penelope, probably in Spanish, that the, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> the first three installments of this <laughs> series were so terrible, she has no idea she's dressed like she's gonna get an Oscar. Give it to Penelope in this dress makes oh. me want to go see the movie because obviously she thinks it's awesome, right? She looked better here than she did at the Oscars. Yes. It's, yes. I mean, she does. Like, the hair is perfect. The makeup is perfect. Right. She looks amazing. But does, does this not seem crazy, you guys? She's, she's wearing Marquesa at and it's, Disneyland. And it's custom That's Marquesa. That's not right. It's custom. It was but made it's for her. I mean, seriously. Do you know yeah. what? Does she admit. know? But did she, maybe she didn't know she was going to Disney. I mean, <laughs> she, she had like, to know. How the hell did she no, no, she because she doesn't that. speak English. <laughs> That's true. That's no. true. I mean, seriously, como se dice overdress <laughs> in Espanol? All right, Eva Longoria in a dress by Kushni Etox. Okay, I love the shoes. <laughs> well, you know, a white dress with orange feet. <laughs> She looks like a duck. <laughs> I didn't even think that she looks like a duck. It's like if you're gonna wear a sack and you have a hot body, you gotta show off those hot legs. I love the shoes. I love those colored shoes. Those I think she looks really elegant and it's a nice change. I think she looks cool. Really? I, yeah, I, just, I think yeah. it's, it's a cool, like, I think it's like anything. modern edge. I think it's just like chill to go to Disneyland with some cool shoes on. Vanessa Hudgens wearing vintage Aussie court. Bravo, bravo, bravo to Vanessa. Yes. This is the best she has ever looked. Mm -hmm. Most she improved. Is sexy, yes. most improved, terrific, sleek, and all her holes are covered. I think this is great. I agree. I think it's amazing. It's very simple. She's totally, she's listened to us. She's simplified. 
It's just really sexy. She looks but really she's elegant. she's finally doing the 70s look right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. She's doing it right. She looks classy. She looks amazing. She does look gorgeous. Zac Efron, eat your heart out, baby. She looks <laughs> hot. Hot. Harry Washington versus Jennifer Lopez. They are both wearing Gucci. I think they both look fantastic. As a stylist, I don't... You like this outfit? I, yeah, I think they look amazing. You don't think they look great? I think J-Lo looks great. I think J-Lo looks, great looks great too. But I think Carrie needed more tailoring on the top. Yeah. Well, well Carrie's she, much flatter on top. Yeah, than, so than pull it in a little bit. Wear that. See, I like it. And I mean, even as a stylist, I wouldn't have a problem putting a girl in that, that dress because I think she looks great. And you'd have to say, like, hey, you know what? J-Lo wore a similar dress. You're going to have to go up against her. Do you have a problem with that? Clearly, Carrie did not have a problem going <laughs> going against her. <laughs> yeah. So you have to have the confidence. Carrie's got all the straps, and she's got the halter, and she's got the belt. She's got more stuff going on her Spider-Man. <laughs> I mean, it's like you're just... Yeah, I agree, though. The top needs to be tailored. Yeah. I think it's too spread out. It needs to be brought in a little more in Carrie. I think J-Lo did it beautifully, though. Okay, next. Now we have Beyonce versus Marissa Tomei versus Amy Smart. Oh, boy. Yeah. And they're all wearing this dress by Preen. Beyonce is showing her midriff, and I yeah. think she looks wonderful. Me I think too. she's yeah, she young and hot, and, and she carries that bag, all the hate mail that she gets from Salon. <laughs> that is just <laughs> from Salon. <laughs> Salon. <laughs> Beyonce makes it look so cool and fresh, and the other two make it look dowdy well, and matronly. But here's why. All right, so Beyonce's wearing like the editorial runway version of the dress, and then designers also churn out these like samples that are for production and for commercial uses, that are and like, those are for like sales that ladies at home would buy. Whereas you know celebrities wear the Beyonce's version, which is. But do you want to know my prediction on this? Is yeah. Though? Although we all agree that Beyonce looks best in it, I almost am willing to bet. That, that America voted for Marissa Tomei because that is the look that really? they Yeah, I could most. see that. We asked you at home who wore best, and you all said <gasps> Marissa Tomei, yeah. 57 wow. percent. Oh right God. on. Yeah. Who's first, George? All right, so first up, we have Kate Middleton with Rose McGowan, both in a gown by Issa. Oh. Oh. Okay, now it's interesting because these girls have a lot in common. Both. Look, absolutely, no, no, no. Great in the dress, <laughs> and they both don't act in movies. I think they <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm in trouble. Um, I think they both actually look beautiful yes. in the dress. I mean, the electric color on Rose works. If she was like Paris Hilton, would not work so, so well. But I mean, look at Kate. Look at her body. Gorgeous. She's amazing. Now, what do you think? What do you think, Troy? I think the color on Kate works. The coral color, the hot pink. Really, you like the coral I don't color? Love it. I do. <laughs> really? What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> go figure. <laughs> I think bright colors like that, you have to have a little bit of a tan going on. So I actually like Kate more so than Rose in it. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. It Who looks next? a bit cheap on Rose, if I could be honest. It. Yeah. Well, I think well, it's the color. <clears throat> See, I mean, it's very interesting. Two girls, same dress. One looks like Daddy's little girl, right? And that's Kate. And Rose looks like uh, Daddy was on the road a lot, but he sends me all kinds of gifts. <laughs> and we asked you at home who wore it best. You know what you said? You said Kate with 79%, which I totally agree. Totally agree. Yes. Okay, next. We have a great one next. Okay. Ooh, I love this one. We have <laughs> Queen Elizabeth and the Queen of Comedy herself, Joan Rivers. Yes. I just want you all to know at home that one of these women thinks the world revolves around her. She has no idea that her family hates her. They just want her to die so they can grab her jewels and her money. And the other is the Queen of England. <laughs> <laughs> And by the way, that picture was taken of me. I was in the Macy's Day Parade. I was queen of the Macy's Day Parade. And uh, uh, FYI, Macy's, quit calling me. I'm not paying any more for your <laughs> Over. Done. <laughs> this week's hot ticket was 100 degrees hot. It was the Coachella Music Festival in the California desert. <laughs> so hot, all the stars love going and seeing the performers. And one of those stars, Dita Von Teese. Here she is in this jacket by Moschino, Cheap and Chic. Oh. Explain this to me. This is what happens when you mix peyote and love boat reruns. I, I, I don't understand. <laughs> Dita is the quintessential pinup. I mean, I did a fashion story with her, all pinups, and one of them was nautical, which is, again, another big spring trend. 
and this is her look. I love it. If there's one person that I wish I could steal their closet, it would have to be her. Just not the shorts. Please don't steal the shorts. <laughs> I do agree with Juliana. I think if they were a little bit shorter, a little bit smaller. They just seem to be a little frumpy but and a little cute. big on her. I love the jacket, but that hair and those glasses are just, are just stupid. You guys don't even know what you're talking about. I love about. that. I don't get it. Everyone was in line to see Robin and, and Chromeo, and Dita was the only one in line to hear the Tommy Dorsey <laughs> Orchestra. I was like, <laughs> also at the festival, Katy Perry. And here she is wearing this dress by DNG because a lot of people tend to be a little, very, like, very bohemian looking at the festival. Katie dressed very conservatively, but you see those guys, they were hanging around just in case she would shoot whipped cream out of her <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, they sent me the same dress except for it was leopard print and I was gonna wear it the next day, but I saw her and I was like, damn, now I can't wear this. I think it's like, cute, it's like- Thank it's, God. I, I think it's fun, it's a music festival and it's, it looks cute. Here is Taylor Momsen and Alice Cooper. I hope maybe she's dating Chris Brown, otherwise this doesn't make any sense oh. at all. It doesn't look great when you have that much black eyeliner under your eye. It's like saying, I'm really pissed off at the world, can you tell? And, and, was, and he is too old, don't you think? I mean, yeah, it's, he's 185 years old. Exactly. And my dad does that too. And he's wearing a Lions Club pin, which is very <laughs> on his shirt. Now that's really hardcore rock and roll. <laughs> We have Taylor Swift versus Kate Bosworth in this dress by Topshop. Topshop, Top and it was ninety-eight dollars. Yes, someone told me that's right. Yeah, look, they're both so skinny. You know, when they took their picture, they say to them, "Okay, everybody, say low fat cheese." <laughs> I mean, they are just. <laughs> but I just love that it's a ninety-eight dollar dress, and they show the versatility of it. Yeah. I mean, Taylor's so tall that she had to add an underskirt to it. I wish she would have not worn that and maybe worn it with flats. I think that would have been really cute. But, oh, you know, I love it. The I like the skirt. They both look great. They both look great. And Kate's doing the, you know, the, when you're wearing an ankle boot like that, it's great to wear a, um, unless you have legs that are a mile long like Juliana, it's best to match your tights to your boot to elongate your leg. And you do have mile mm. long, fabulous legs. Thanks, George. <laughs> By the way, the 13 is on her hand because you can never remember what channel he haws on. <laughs> and it's just... This is a really tough BSML. Bitch stole my look. Um, because it is, it's, it's really tough. They both look great. I think yeah. they both styled it really well, this dress. To and me, I though, it's Taylor. Taylor, really? I love the shoes, the cute shoes. I feel like shoes. Kate, I think it's a little I, bit, I'm, just a little. I say a tie. I think they both look great. Well, we asked the people at home, yeah. and we found out that of all of you out there at home, 60% thought that it would be Taylor mm. and 40% Taylor. Yeah. Okay. We're going to pick apart the men of Hollywood. Bring on the man candy, Julia. Yeah. Matthew McConaughey at his movie premiere wearing Dolce and Gabbana. I mean, he's wearing a silver suit. <laughs> he looks like a rectal thermometer. I don't, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I like it. Now, you know, you when you're like yeah, when you're really when you're really muscular, you know, have a big muscular build, you know, like Matthew and me that like we have. Um, you have to, oh god. You have to buy your suit to fit your chest. I'm kidding. I know. Well, you have we to know. Buy your suit we know. To fit your to fit your chest so then your pants are a lot bigger. So you have to tailor your pants down to match your suit, which he did not do here and they're a little bit too long. At first glance, I think he looks very well manicured and his hair looks really good, but I just can't get past the, that it is a silver suit. It's like gunmetal. So it's one of those things where, you know, he'd look, it's very hard for him not to look handsome because he's a very well put together man, but I'm just a bit 50-50 on this. I'm just shocked to see him with some clothes on finally. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, I, I mean, I think that, I think he looks amazeballs. And he, well, we ripped him apart. <laughs> Next. Gerard <laughs> Butler in Hawaii. All right. Man, now that is one great looking man. I, but Gerard, this is not what I meant when I told you I was in the mood for a good paddling. This is just... I totally agree. He's, man, that's a great hunky he guy. He is fine. And I've styled him before and he is Ooh. just as charming. He's like really? charming. Yes, he will charm your Did you see him naked? I wish. Uh, I did not see him naked. Did, did you did see not. his butt? I did not see him. <laughs> 
Do what? you think he's cute? Would you hit it? That's not your kind of guy. <laughs> That's not your kind of guy. We have Brad Koreski versus Kanye West in this jacket by Givenchy. I don't know who stole what from whom, but <laughs> if it's between Brad and Kanye, the hardest part is figuring out which one is the bitch. I mean, it's just... <laughs> From a fashion point of view, I think it's a leopard bomber jacket is just flamboyant, period. So you gotta butch it up, which Kanye did. It's like Brad's look. It's what? Fierce. You, you know, like Kanye. Fierce. Fierce. Yeah. Kanye wins. It's super gay. Fierce. I love it. It's super, it's super gay, okay. Super okay. But fierce. No, I, I, I gotta be honest though, Kanye. I like it. Yeah, I mean, I I'm think I, animal you know. prints are super hot right now. And I agree with you. You have to be a real dude, like a tough guy to pull off this look. Yeah. Let's cut Brad a, a, a little slack. He used to work for Rachel Zoe, you know that. Now yes. he works for the Bronx Zoo and he said he gets less <laughs> and his new job. So. <laughs> uh, that was very good. Who's next? Kate Bosworth versus Diane Kruger. They're both wearing this dress by Dolce Gabbana Spring 11. <laughs> I think it's a darling. I think I it's love it. darling. I love it on both. I think Kate looks like it's too loose on her. Seems to swallow her up, you know, but don't tell her that because she's a very good friend and the word swallow scares the hell out of her. <laughs> <laughs> what I love is that they're both wearing similar dresses, yet they're making it their own. I like it better on Kate Bosworth because it is baggy, it is more relaxed, you can move in it. And Kate's wearing it with black boots, yes, too. Yes, I like the boots. Diane Kruger, I gotta give it to her because she has been on our worst dress list quite a few times. Sometimes she comes out in total disasters. So at least she cleaned it up a little bit and I think it looks really great on her. But we have those kind of legs. They're like toothpicks, you know. Oh my Diane, God. get me an olive here. <laughs> <laughs> we had you an olive. You wore it best. And you said, Diane, with 81%. Ah. All right. Halle Berry in Poochie at the NAACP Whoa. Awards. Whoa. And when Halle showed up, they changed the name of the awards to NAADD Awards. I mean, it, <laughs> look at what's going on, those juggerinos. I mean, she wasn't even nominated. And she showed up in that dress, and they took two awards away, one from Oprah and one from Obama, and just said, here, bitch. I mean, it's like, look, look at her. <laughs> Granted, the NAACP Awards, I've dressed women for that. It's like the Grammys, anything goes, but no navel. Mm. I think she looks absolutely gorgeous, and her body is the, I mean, no. you can't floor the body. No. I'm not a huge fan of this dress. I mean, the cut of the dress is great, it's just the pattern. I'm, mm, the pattern. The print, yeah. I'm just not I agree with a great you on the fan print. of that. I agree, I think the, the silhouette's gorgeous on her body, but I'm so with you, George. I just want to like, because because there's a cutout just for the belly button, yeah. it seems like. I just want to like put my finger in there, you know what I mean? <laughs> and that's disgusting, <laughs> but I want to. Um, yeah, I just, I, I don't, that, that's, that creeps me out. Christina Aguilera in Zuhair Murad versus Julia Ormond in Ann Barge. Okay, I think, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I think uh, the silhouette is very beautiful. Uh, when it's stiff on the bottom, you know? But I think uh, Christina looks very, very happy in that. I mean, she looks like the cat that ate the canary islands. <laughs> uh, she, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what her blood test, her blood alcohol content was in the test they gave her when they took her in, but I know her cholesterol was over 400. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now. This is just such a, it's a classic dress. I mean, putting nude, black lace over nude, no brainer. I think that the execution on Christina's was much more beautiful. The lace looks more expensive. The beading is beautiful. Anytime you want to make your waist look small, you put a black you know, ribbon around it. And I think Julia, or what's her name? Julia, Julia Armand. Armand needed that. That would have just really defined her waist and made it look really mm. small. I could draw it on if you guys want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to agree with you in the fact that I do think that Christina's dress does look better tailored and it's beautiful, but come on, if you've got boobs that big, get a bigger cup put into it or put a little bit more lace. Don't make it look like it's popping out They need out to all swap dresses. I think it would have been Yeah, if they would have swapped dresses, it would have been much <laughs> yes. better, but put a belt on both of them. 
Oof, that's a tough Go one. On, it's a tough one. Uh, Julia Armand, I think, looks better. I agree. I, I do too. Christina looks like the dress is way too small on her. She doesn't look comfortable at all. And then she's doing that silly pose they all do in Hollywood with the two arms but up like this. Why is her hands like this, though? Because to hide her hips. Is her, that what it is? Yeah, a lot of really? girls do that to hide their thighs. I never knew that oh, trick. Right. She can't, she's got to go like this and hide those thighs. <laughs> okay, audience, who do you think? Who wore the look better? Uh, Christina? Julia. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> who wore it better? <laughs> Christina or Julia? I don't know, it's mixed. Yeah, I think it's like, Me. I don't, I Julia? think it's 50-50. Julia. Julia, okay, who's next? The big trend of the night, ladies in red. Let's kick things off with Anne Hathaway wearing Valentino. Oh. Yeah, that's a lot of red. Now, in the movie, love and other drugs, Anne engaged in a lot of simulated sex, but on Sunday night show, she didn't have to because I think she sucks for real. And I just... <laughs> you know, this is... This is Valentino red. It's a beautiful red, yes. and she was on the red carpet with him. This is directly off the runway. I was actually at this show in Paris in 2002 when I worked for the New York Times, so this is an older dress. When I saw this, I was like, yeah, it's beautiful, and you look lovely, but it, it was missing that, like, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially because she's the host, and she, had, she could have got any dress in the world for that night. But she did wear so she many amazing dresses. dresses last night. Eight Do you know what total. my favorite outfit of hers was, though? The tuxedo. The tuxedo. Yeah, it was, it was so the good on her. The tuxedo was fantastic. That is the new LBD. <laughs> oh, it is. I want to get a She tuxedo. looked like a popsicle. I yeah. hate her. And that was, that was custom. That was made for her. Yeah, it was. I thought this was just too much happening in the back with the flowers. This did not wow me. I agree. I think she wore better dresses inside during the show. She should have worn one of those on the red carpet, especially that electric blue one. The electric stunning. blue one, stunning. you would look good in that. Thank you, Joan. <laughs> All right, Sandra Bullock wearing Vera Wang. Yeah, now she, she and I are very close, and she told me this is the only contact she's had with a Wang all year. And I <laughs> think... <laughs> this is... She told you that. This is, Tell me that. this is beautiful. Yes, beautiful. I mean, it's simple, it's elegant. My issue is, this is the Academy Awards. She needed a big piece of jewelry or something mm -hmm. to glam it up, even like a sparkly Judith Lieber bag, just something to kind of but give her, it some oomph. Her mind wasn't on that. All night long, she kept whispering to me, this is fun, but I can't wait to go home to my cuddly little black eye. <laughs> and you know, I, I kept thinking. Oh my God. I, <laughs> John. <laughs> If I had a nickel, if I had a nickel for every time I said that, I wouldn't have to be sick. <laughs> Am I right, George? <laughs> I thought this dress was really beautiful. It really was, but there was so much space on top that usually I wouldn't put a necklace with this, mm -hmm. but she needed a necklace, something to take the eye away from the pale skin. Or a bigger set of earrings, some great yeah. statement earrings. Yeah, I thought the, the jewelry was a little simple, but my God, her body She's looks so great. She's so beautiful. You know, she looks fantastic. Jennifer Lawrence wearing custom Calvin Klein. I think so sexy, even the gay kid in Glee would want to make her. I mean, it's just... <laughs> Too, and looks amazing, but a little too plain for the Academy Awards again. She should have worn jewelry, but I think they were all scared Lindsay Lohan would show up. <laughs> I think that's not it. Here's where I, I, I think she is absolutely flawless in this. It's a 70s pinup look. She looks like a fashion version of Farrah Fawcett in that poster, or like Pam Anderson in her red bikini or red bathing suit. And I think the, the crystal bag is enough. It's it's effortless, and this is the first time yeah. she's been looking her age as I well. I completely agree with you. And when I, she was the first girl to hit the red carpet yes. yesterday. And when she walked in, she set the standard so high because she looked so effortlessly perfect, it wasn't even funny. You know, I, she is the it girl in Hollywood mm -hmm. right now. I was talking to a big producer the other day who said that everyone is dying to meet with this girl, directors, producers. And in the movie Winter's Bone, you know, she's a, a squirrel skinning, gunslinging yeah. chick. And I think she wanted to show, oh, hell no, that's not who I am, yeah. baby. This is who I am. And yeah. she looked hot. Yeah. So Perfect. hot. She Would was all... smart because she came early. She was, yes. she was helping them lay the carpet. And, <laughs> you know what I mean? and she, got all the, she got all the pictures because of that.
Mila Kunis wearing Ellie Saab. So you predicted she would wear Ellie Saab. Couture. I think it was gorgeous and it was so sheer you could almost see Mila's Kunis. It was <laughs> I think it's just beautiful. The feminine, feminine, feminine. This is straight off the Ellie Saab Spring 2011 Couture runway. Mm -hmm. The lavender color is so beautiful. She hasn't done those soft tones yet in the award show. I, I love them. I never would have thought to put this color on her. I think it worked so well. And she was the only one in this lavender. And it it was amazing. The detail along around the chest, it was it fit her so perfectly. It was so beautiful and it was kind of, it was different from everybody else's dress. She really made a statement with it. Rihanna wearing Jean-Paul Gaultier. Wow. I love this. Hot, hot, hot. And I myself have worn that toilet paper bridal <laughs> shower game too. But uh, I don't know. I know that Charlie Sheehan saw her and tried to sniff what was left on her. <laughs> I love this. I love this. It's Gautier again. I was wearing Gautier yesterday. And this fabric actually will add inches around your body. Yeah. But it, you know, I normally would not like that. It totally works on her and it's it's sexy, but it's not too sexy. I think it's great. Best dress nominee. This is definitely a best dress nominee yeah. for me. I saw this. I've been looking at this dress on style.com for maybe about two months or now, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And when I saw that she was wearing it, I have to stay slightly jealous, but it no one else could have done this justice the way that she did. It fits her perfectly. The stripes are in all but the right places. How are you obsessed with this dress? I mean, I feel like there's just no fashion in this dress. <gasps> what? What? Yeah. It's I, fabulous. I don't get it. It's so I don't like cool. It. I love it. <clears throat> really? I think it does look like a, like a Swiffer duster, first of all. And it's just like, or a caterpillar. I'm trying to figure it out. But I just, I, you know, I don't see the fashion in it. I feel like Rihanna is so amazing at shocking us. But usually I see the fashion in it. There's a trend to it. Where is the trend here? So I'm sorry to say we're stress nominee. <gasps> oh, no. Now, back off. Good for you. Thank you, Joan. <laughs> Carrie Hilson in... Basil soda. Gorgeous. You don't think so, audience? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Short without looking cheap, you know? Unlike Snooky, who is both. <laughs> I, 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 I just. I thought you looked perfect. Joan, I 100% agree with you. This is the way to wear a strapless mini, which I normally don't like. I think her very sophisticated short hair is perfect. Best dress nominee as well. She looks like Judy Jetson. I love it. Do you know, I have to agree again with you, George. Best dress nominee for me. This color was so beautiful on her, and she didn't overdo it in any way. It was just the right amount of everything. Just the right amount of sparkle, texture, structure. Yeah. Perfect. Barely any accessories. Mm -hmm. Very simple amount. I thought she looked fantastic. The color really popped. It was beautiful. Sierra wearing Emilio Pucci. <laughs> ah, you liked it? I think I, I think she looks like she looks like the busiest hooker at a comic at a comic book convention. You know, it's like what is she doing? If somebody yells pool party, I'm telling you the hair will come off and the skirt will be it should be in the pool in ten seconds. I actually, I actually really really like this dress. What I didn't like. The shoes are way too aggressive. And yeah. I actually liked her really long hair. It was like Naomi Campbell from the early 90s. I have to agree with you again, George. We're getting along today. <laughs> I like this. It's, you know, the thing for me is that if she didn't stand there like Wonder Woman in it, yeah. you, you, it would have softened the look a bit and you would have got the full idea of the dress. The beadwork was beautiful. It fit her perfectly. And there's not a lot of women who have the frame that could pull off this dress. It's just that she's standing there like she's going to beat you up in it. <laughs> and I have to say, her hair and her makeup was beautiful. I was. I we, were, we were talking about it all night. Her hair was like, it was perfect. Love perfect. the hair and makeup, but I'm with you, Joan. You're like my soul sister today. Yes, Elizabeth. yes. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm not a big fan of this dress. Speaking of having fun with fashion, uh, we have with us Sierra, who I love. I, I, you are so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is, let's 
start with is that your hair and then I want to get right to how gorgeous you look my god in that black eyed peas benefit gown oh thank you but um no this is not all my hair but half uh, and half yeah something like that now let's go right to this gown Whoa. amazing Whoa. amazing Whoa. Thank you very much. This is um, Emilio Pucci. I just loved it, and it just felt good. And I had a couple little stickies too, you know, to make sure everything was. It, it stayed in. <laughs> Where did you stick the no, double edge on, tape? On the on the touch. Just on the <laughs> yeah, because it was a trick actually, because we couldn't find a way, you know, for things not to show if it gets cold. Right. Yes. Okay. Because <laughs> I know with me when it gets cold, people think I have double knees. <laughs> so it's. Uh... <laughs> Explain and don't take this personally. <laughs> Your Grammy dress. Yes. You know, well, I got to hear some of what you know. You guys said. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, and you so, guys. So and much you, of it is rumor. <laughs> no, you so <laughs> You know, it was it was one that I saw. The rumor that time I saw the rumor being said. But you guys definitely went in. But um, you know what? It was, <laughs> it was fun though. I really, I really was. I felt good walking in it too. It just flowed. And normally I go for the fitted dress kind of thing. And I'm like. Let's just switch it up. You went um, uh, with, with boots that I thought were amazing, and you were dressed, I thought, so adorable. She went to the, yeah. you went to the NBA All-Star game, but yeah. I kept thinking, those boots are a poor choice for an NBA game because you can't outrun a rapist in them. <laughs> I mean, it is just... Oh, my gosh. You're really thinking deep. <laughs> and you knew how to wear them. Jessica Simpson has the same boots, and she gets confused when she pees. She has to unzip them. And I'm, yeah, they're like... <laughs> First up, we have Heidi Klum and Paris Hilton, both in Julian McDonald. Now, Heidi Klum wore this to this past Grammys, and Paris Hilton wore this in 2005. Wow. wow. Six years. Wow. It took them that long to steam clean it, my lord. <laughs> Okay, I, when I saw her at the Grammys, I was like, I know I've seen this dress, I know I've seen this dress, and I thought it was like Kate Hudson or someone. Paris Hilton. And thank God Heidi blows her away, because I have to style Heidi tomorrow, so I'm glad that I can say she looks good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Sierra, what do you think? Well, I definitely think that um, Heidi totally rocked it. The shoe that Paris has on with this, this dress, I'm not quite feeling it. And then the chain, it's just like taking it to a whole other place. You gotta keep it simple with a dress like this. A dress is, is jewelry itself. You Absolutely. Know? You know, that's that's how I feel about it. So I think that Heidi totally played it upright. She kept it fresh and young. Definitely Heidi. What do you think, Kat? I definitely think Heidi wore it best. The accessories on Paris is too much and the hair is a bit old lady. The scandals, the shoes, I hate them. <laughs> okay, audience, who do you think wore it best? Heidi! Heidi, Heidi. all right. Heidi. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think Heidi wore it best, so she's got more attitude, and she's more comfortable in it. And this is just too much for me. I ran into her recently at a party, and she wasn't the nicest. And it's crazy because I've always loved and respect what she's done with fashion, and I've ran into her, you know, before. And But this time, it was just really, wasn't the most pleasant run-in, so... A bitch! Next! Oh. All right. <laughs> You were crazy. <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah. I thought she looked incredible yes. in this dress by Calvin Klein. So chic. Agreed. So yes. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Great, 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 great. Okay, Georgie, who's your best? Okay, my best is Natalie Portman in Rodarte. Kate and Laura Malibi, my pals, designed this. They also designed the costumes for the film. And this is the photo that's going to be shown forever and ever and ever of her with her Oscar. Mm -hmm. And it's just beautiful. It's perfect. Right. And what about you, Kel? I have to go with Jennifer Lawrence in this Calvin yeah. Klein. It is, she is perfection. I, I saw this and I'm just like, wow, people will remember this forever. All different, all gorgeous, but to me the obvious winner is George's choice. And now an Oscar category that actually has another surprise in it. Worst, Juliana. Ooh, my worst has got to be Marissa Tomei. I, yeah. Uh, yeah. This dress had to, it, it just didn't work and the whole look head to toe was a miss. Yeah. yeah, yeah. George? My worst dress is Melissa Leo because this is the dress you want to wear for all the photos for your winning your Oscar? Mm, uh, I don't think so. And Kelly, my angel. I had to go, unfortunately, with Nicole Kidman because this dress is amazing on the runway, but it just doesn't work on the red carpet. And she looked so good at the Grammys that I was kind of expecting something wow, and it was more like this. Now, all these dresses, I must say, all they're all work of the devil, all these dresses, I think. <laughs> <laughs> they are, they are, they are. <laughs> Don't hold back. 
But Oscar's number one fash hole for me is none of the above. None what? of the above. No, what? I'm using my veto power for the first time. Ooh. To me, there's no question. The worst of the worst of the worst is Kate Blanchett. I'm oh. sorry. No. the dress are like Rihanna and Sierra. They're okay on their own, but they will never get together, those bitches. Just keep away. Uh -uh. Who is your best? My best has got to be Jennifer Hudson. Ooh. Wearing Versace. I think she looks stunning. Her body, her face, she's never looked better, and that dress is gorgeous. Okay, and Georgie Porgy? My best is Jennifer Lopez. This is how you dress to the ground. Yeah. For sure. Beautiful, beautiful. And Kelly. I have to go with Rihanna. I think that she embodies everything that is stylish. She'll be on the red carpet, the Grammys. This was her night. She looks so beautiful. Oh, ugh. Anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> the obvious winner is George's Choice. Woo! Thank you, thank she you. She does I know. Worst, Juliana, worst, worst, worst. Oh. I have to do it. Katy Perry wearing Armani Privé. Oh. This was not the way to do it. You know, I know she wanted to make a huge statement at the Grammys, but I think this fell flat. Yeah. What about you, George? My worst is, sorry to say, but Amber Riley. Oh. I picked her as best dress last time, and the execution, the painted dress, it just did not look good. She could have done better. Mm -hmm. Kelly? I hate to say this, because she's one of my friends, and from this up, you cannot say a goddamn word about her because she's the most beautiful woman ever. But I have to go with Kim Kardashian in this uh, Kaufman Franco dress because it's something that Mariah Carey would have worn 15 years ago. She's too hot, she's too young. Mm. No good. Okay, well, to me, look how tense it gets in the studio. <laughs> the worst of the worst, the Grammy's number one fash hole is, give me a hand, sweetheart, George's Choice, Woo! no question, Amber <laughs> Riley. I mean, the dress yeah. was painted. It was painted on the back and the front, and during the after party, she farted, and people in, in San Diego had paint chips all over them. I mean, it was just... <laughs> <laughs> January Jones wearing Carolina Herrera. I think it's very smart that she went for a demure, you know, this demure uh, look. I don't really like the crew neck on there. I would have liked an open neck, but I'm just nitpicking because she does look fabulous. I think she looks fabulous, even though I'm not a fan of the gold print on anything, because I think it's too much. But I think her hair is great, and it's so nice to see that she really switched it up from the Golden Globes, and she went more sophisticated, and this dress is amazing on her. Absolutely, best dress nominee for sure. I yeah. love that she did something different than Versace. She loves Versace, and she looks great in him, but this is so great on her, this Carolina Herrera. And I, what I love about her is, you know, she's polarizing. You either love her or you hate her. Yeah. Some people think it's too much. Yeah, it's a little like the wallpaper in an Italian restaurant. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you see her and you want to go spaghetti with meat sauce, please. But I think she looks beautiful. <laughs> Nicole Kidman wearing Nina Ricci. <laughs> oh, now, wait a second. Wait a second. Nicole looks great for somebody who just had somebody else have her baby. She looks amazing. Amazing. She looks amazing too. Yes. I love that dress. I think it's cool. It's dark. It's edgy. Do not understand the Fred Lane necklace. It's like complicated neckline. Why would you layer something over that? If it was sewn in, maybe might have been better. Didn't need the necklace. But that was the problem that I had with her with the Golden Globes. With her accessories, didn't quite go with the dress. But I will say, this is one of my favorite things I've seen her in recently. It's awesome. The back is gorgeous. Gorgeous. My yes. God. She even turned to our cameras to show her back because she was so proud of it. But what I love about her is she doesn't dress to be sexy or get guys' attention. She dresses for fashion. Yeah. And I think she achieved it this time. And I love her hair. Uh, yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. You like love it. her hair? I love the hair. I like that it's messy with this very oh. constructed It looks like she was look. breaking up a fight between her kids and Junior. <laughs> you watch. Mommy still has the receipt for you. You can go back. I <laughs> Natalie Portman wearing a Zorro. Uh, the dress is so tight, you can actually see the baby knocking and saying, Mommy, Mommy, why did you do that piece of 
movie with Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> I mean, this would have been a perfect dress had she not been pregnant. It's, it's, it, she needs, you know, to be fit across her breast. She needs something that's going to drape over her belly. Juliana, the dress, mm. gorgeous dress you wore, it would have been perfect on her. What are you saying? I wore a maternity no, dress? But you had, <laughs> no, but you had those beautiful pleats that would have cascaded, gor they would have been beautiful. Thank you, I think. You know, I no, you look hot. You look I don't hot. actually think okay. this dress is that bag. I think it's the fabric yeah. choice. If it was a jersey so that it kind of formed better and didn't, Create like the and those wrinkles the creases oh. would have been so much beautiful. Yeah. But she's pregnant. She looks glowing. She looks stunning. I thought the dress was really. And I, I thought it looked good. You know, I think You're even though totally she's wrong. pregnant, she is not. You know, kind of departing from being a fashionista. I think she just still wants to wear a great dress. I think this is a really great dress. I thought she looked great. And I don't think it's that bad either. I, I think the top for a pregnant woman is beautiful. And you know that baby. She's gone to so many award shows that kids' <laughs> first words are going to be, "I want to thank my agent." I mean, it's <laughs> just. <laughs> the best parts of this award season were all the other actresses got to see Natalie Portman getting fatter and fatter and fatter. <laughs> and bright candy colors are back. Yes, they are. Jennifer Lawrence wearing Oscar de la Renta. Ah. Uh. Oh. oh. The designer <laughs> looks like Hello Kitty. I know, I don't, I don't know, maybe it's something to do with Winter's Bone, which I didn't see, because I thought it was about Larry King's sex life. <laughs> <laughs> Joan, I love it. It's shocking pink. It's yes. 20 years old. It's perfect. I love that she didn't do that horrible beachy hair, and she would look like Barbie. The black and pink is very Christian Lacroix, even though this is Oscar de la Renta. Love it, love it. Best dress nominee. See, best yes, it is. I she love looks this good. Dress. I love this dress so much. But if Gwen Stefani would have worn it, it would have been a best dress nominee. I don't know whether she's got that edgy personality because I don't really know. We don't really haven't seen a lot of her because she's so new to the red carpet. But I do think with the hair like that, it makes her look like she is the a, a daughter of Donald Trump. <laughs> that would be Ivanka. You mean Ivanka? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think, I, I love it. I think it's really fun. She's 20 years old. She's an ingenue. You know, she's the, kind of an it girl right now. And it's just fun to come out in this bold, bright color. I think it's a really cool look. I like it. Maybe I'm just jealous because I really want to wear it. Oh. That's what it is. <laughs> It'll look better on you. The black belt and ugly is what she got. Hi, in this dress by Nina Ricci. Fall 2009 collection. For the... Well, first of all, in that dress, you, you you know the answer to, guess who's single again? I mean, I thought it was the prettiest half dress at the award shows. I thought that was beautiful, but it too short. Joan, I, mean, I agree. If you were in the front row, you could see Catwoman's kitty. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> this dress, this dress would have been voted off of Project Runway because it looks unfinished. This is a worst dress nominee for me. It truncated her legs. I, I don't think it's glamorous. I definitely agree with you. She's a worst dress nominee and it's hard for me to say that because I usually love everything she wears. Yeah, she's so gorgeous, but even her looks can't save this dress. Yeah, yeah the, the, the sheer train with the mini dress, it doesn't work. Heidi Klum and Seal. Heidi's dress is from Marc Jacobs' Spring 2011 collection. Oh, I'm sorry. She has just shot down the expression. So beautiful she can wear anything. I mean, <laughs> what is wrong with that? And he now is catching. He's wearing clown <laughs> shoes. It doesn't work on the red carpet as fancy as the Golden Globes. Yeah. At least she tried. Megan Fox and Brian Austin Green. Megan is wearing Armani Privé. Brian is Armani. Yeah. I want to say I admire the Golden Globes for finally this year opening the awards to non-actors. I think this is great. Okay. Hilarious. Great. Great. Hilarious. But, but having said that, they are so sexy together. I agree, John. They look sensational. Her from behind. Zero Spanx. I mean, that body is rocking silk yeah. georgette, really hard fabric to wear, and she needed nothing underneath that. You know, she does look beautiful, and it's nice to see her in something like this. I've never seen her in a dress like this before. And as a couple, you know, they look hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she looks so hot. Yeah, no, I think they look great together. Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban. Nicole's dress is Prada. Keith is Prada as well. <laughs> Oh, I what? guess. Oh, wait a second. Hair fabulous, makeup flawless, jewelry fantastic, and Nicole looks nice also. <laughs> she is. <laughs> 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 They're a team. He helps her 
learn a line. She helps them get things off the top shelf. I mean, it's just... <laughs> Her Prada dress is fabulous. It's sleek and elegant. Do you know what? I love everything but that little blue accent. I think yeah. that it just, it just makes everything look yeah. a bit messy and not put together. It looks like a microphone. Angelina Jolie in this dress by Atelier Versace. I think she's wearing a plain dress and it's high neck and it's okay. And she still was the most glamorous amazing, sexy woman. I mean, just, she had, I think she just, she walked away with it. I agree. I, she, the subtle 80s detail, I think is fabulous. Not many women can wear this. She, in some of the photos, she looked a little bit boxy, but you know, over, she's very straight up and down, but overall, she looks fabulous. I mean, this is 100% a best dress nominee for me. Yeah. I love the color. I love how just relaxed it is, but at the same time, it, she made such an impact with that dress. She doesn't have big hair, she doesn't have big jewelry. She's just walking down the carpet in that dress and she looks stunning. Perfection, best dress nominee for me too. I mean, God, when she came in, I was just like, oh my God. It's, I am a I star. Need to, yeah, she's but a you should star. Have, you should have heard when she hit the carpet. Oh my God. Every, like, it was kind of quiet, there was a lot of noise and all of a sudden it was just screaming. Everybody was going insane. Yeah, and, and it was insane. because Brad did and Did you guys Angelina see Brad Pitt? Up. He looked yeah. really yeah. good. Because lately it's been really hit or miss with Brad Pitt. He looked I know, amazing. But take the sunglasses. No, off. I oh, like no. this. For the first no, time, I no. thought they worked on a red I think carpet. It's Hollywood glamour. And did you oh, see them gorgeous. during the show when he fixed when the were, tie? She was fixing the yeah. tie, How and cute. then she was leaning into. Ah, oh, yeah. they just were fabulous. They're They're fabulous. <laughs> All right, <laughs> fabulous. Mila Kunis and Vera Wang. Or as I like to think of her as the poor man's Angelina Jolie. Then this is very, <laughs> this is very sad, audience. This is very sad. <laughs> because she looked so beautiful, but as she was coming out of the limo, her publicist said, good news, bad news. He said, good news is you look amazing, bad news is Angelina's in the same color 10 minutes ahead of you, so. <laughs> <laughs> Just go home, bitch. And, uh, how sad is that? That's hard. That's a tough one, yeah. It's I, a tough one. I think she looks like young, yeah. you know, the young version of Angelina Jolie. I, I think she's beautiful. Definitely a best dress nominee for me. Yeah. I love the color, and I think she looks really elegant, and she's so petite, yet she looks like a bombshell in this. I agree, I love this dress on her, and I like that, it wasn't just her that wore green too, it was, uh, Catherine Zeta jones wore the same and, color and, as well. And the the other girl from Mad Men. And it was just, you know, to see her in something so elegant, and she really, yeah. I don't have a bad thing to say about this, she looked stunning. Yeah. Brad Pitt went over and gave her a pinch in the ass. <laughs> I know, <it's> like, <laughs> but I agree, green was so beautiful on the red carpet, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Moss, Moss, I think you were thinking. Yeah. And just, she looks gorgeous, but you're so right, I love how you said that she's very petite, and this just give her like yeah. a bombshell feel. It didn't drown her at all. No, no, no exactly. it was beautiful. She was your best. My best has to be Anne Hathaway in our modern <laughs> Just, she is stunning, gorgeous head to toe. Okay, George. My best is definitely January Jones. I love, this yeah. is a very oh. unconventional look. I, love I think it. it's fabulous fashion. She looks sexy, hot, and I love, love that hair. Oh, please, she should be a waitress at Caesar's Palace. What about, <laughs> what about you, Kill? My best has to be Angelina Jolie in Versace. Yeah. I love this dress. She looks stunning. Gorgeous. Well, now the two of you must be in some kind of trance caused by Helena Bonham Carter. <laughs> but, uh, obviously, the winner is, I agree totally with you, Juliana, gorgeous and happy. Oh, okay, so we have got our prom queen. Now we need a carry to set everybody <laughs> screaming from the room. Juliana, worst. Usually I think she's a doll and has amazing fashion sense. Michelle Williams. This dress was not right for the Golden Globes red carpet. Even though it's Valentino, it wasn't right for this. And George. My worst has got to be Heidi Klum. I know you're a supermodel, but that doesn't mean you can wear everything from the runway. It's just, it was a mess. It looked like she was going to the beach. Kelly. My worst, only because I know she can do better, has to be Leighton Meester. I mean, this dress by Burberry, just, she was a sister wife, you're right. <laughs> I think she's a glamorous sister wife. Oh, please. Now, I, I would really be torn if the choice wasn't so obvious for the worst. The number one fash hole of the Golden Globes <laughs> is Juliana's choice, Michelle Williams. No oh, oh, yeah. Stupid daisies, and she spent the whole night 
picking the petals off, saying, Valentino loves me, Valentino loves me not. But Michelle, look in a mirror, Valentino hates your guts. And it's terrible. Oh my God. Oh no. Now that you are an official fashion police deputy, which I love, uh -huh. we are going to put you to work, okay? Uh -oh. So, we are going to play Starlet or Streetwalker. <laughs> now, here is how it works. We show a picture, and then you guess whether the person is a starlet or a streetwalker, mm -hmm. because sometimes, as we know, it's hard to tell. Okay, everybody, <laughs> paddles up. First picture, please. Okay, starlet or streetwalker? <laughs> Juliana. I say Starlet. I like those boots. I think I saw them at Saks. Okay. Starlet. All right. George. I'm going to say Streetwalker and Aspen. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki. I'm definitely going to say Streetwalker. Streetwalker. Okay. She looks like she would screw you right on the spot if you had a good car and eight ball of Coke. So I am going to say <laughs> Starlet. <laughs> and the woman with the furry feet and the Cold beaver is Bailey! Bailey! All right. Bailey. Next picture. Oh. Juliana. Oh, boy. No, no, no. When I dressed up for Halloween as a hooker one year, I wore boots just like that. So I say oh. Streetwalker. Yeah. Streetwalker. George. I don't know. I'm gonna, those could be like and Mulemeester boots, but I think that it's probably a Streetwalker. <laughs> yeah, I, de I would definitely say Streetwalker. They were combat okay. boots. The woman is Ooh. a oh. Streetwalker. Oh. You guys are All right. right. Okay. okay. Last picture, last picture, last picture. Okay. Starlet and Streetwalker, Juliana. If I were looking for a prostitute, that would not be who I'd pick. So I have to say Starlet because she's not landing any guys. <laughs> she's not getting paid. George. Yeah, or like a Mormon streetwalker or something <laughs> like that. I'm Okay. Yeah, I Nikki. think so. I mean, I would say Starlet, because Starlet, okay, looks like a hooker. The lady in black isn't a lady at all, so ha-ha, it's Adam Lambert. <laughs> <laughs> Winona Ryder versus Alessandra Ambrosio wearing this dress by Dolce & Gabbana. Oh. <laughs> she's only in a couple of scenes in Black Swan, guys. But by the way, no, she stole yeah. the movie, and obviously from this dress, she stole 300 copies of the DVD, and they're under the dress. <laughs> I, it's too fat for her, don't you think? This is a 50s-style, you know, dress. It needs a wasp waist. She doesn't have that. The dress is too long. The shoes are not sexy. I mean, this is like something she'd wear to the Beetlejuice premiere. Mm. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Yeah. And maybe she was going for that kooky weirdo look. And if so, then... <laughs> no, seriously, because sometimes people she go it. for that look, you know, uh -huh. because she's doing the eyes. And I know sometimes I do weird eyes. So she's probably going for that look. And if so, then she nailed it. She... <laughs> She looks great. Do you think it looks better on the gorgeous, young, stunning, tall, thin, <laughs> Victoria's Secret model? Or on Winona Ryder? <laughs> Who's next? Okay, Anne Hathaway versus Catherine McPhee in this dress by Mandela. <laughs> But you know, Anne Hathaway, she's all white and cold. She should be in Jeffrey Dahmer's freezer. I, mean, it's like... I like this dress. I think it's simple on her. It's, it's very complicated. She has simple accessories. You can see that from the time that Anne wore it in February, those are like seriously ruffled feathers on Catherine McPhee, and it's a bit overstyled, I think. What do you think, Nick? I think Catherine looks like she's more just free, just looks like she almost didn't really think about it too much, and I like when, you know, I don't want it to look too thought out. I, I agree, I think Catherine looks more effortless. Rihanna versus Jennifer Lopez. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> In a dress by Lan Vaughn. Oh, no. oh, I'm shaking. Well, this, you know, it's, this is basically a hefty bag. It's a very difficult dress to wear. And JLo's just completely overstyled with the hair, with the jewels, with the bag. I mean, for, it, it, it looks cool on Rihanna. It's like, it's styled really well. She looks great in it. But where Rihanna did the right thing is that she tailored the skirt and took out a lot of the 
accents on the hip and that, yeah. that really makes a difference because either way you look at it, it looks like a bloody trash bag. It's like... <laughs> God, I have to disagree. I actually think Jennifer Lopez looks better in this. I don't know why. I like the black shoes. Oh, don't. It's too much. Shut up! Let's, let's not knock Juliana in the face. It's truly up to her if she's totally wrong. <laughs> you think looks better, audience? Yeah. Even the family yeah. living in Jennifer Lopez's hair <laughs> spoke to the family living in Jennifer Lopez's ass, <laughs> and they said, Rihanna. <laughs> Rihanna. Sorry. Scarlett Johansson, Juliette Lewis, and Christina Aguilera in this dress by Dolce & Gabbana. I think Scarlett Johansson looks so beautiful and fresh and elegant. She's exactly the kind of girl that Ryan Reynolds always wanted to walk out on, you know? It was like, <laughs> that was his dream. I think she looks great. I think so how can you compete with Scarlett Johansson? She's the face of Dolce & Gabbana cosmetics. She's perfection. The, you know, the black uh, grow grain belt accentuates her tiny waist. Perfect. Juliet is like, she looks good, but... She looks lousy, you know? She looks like she recently escaped from the Kennedy compound and she can't decide whether she should press charges or go back in for another go-round with her. <laughs> you hate the hate dress, it. you hate everybody. Well, I like the dress, and then I saw it on Aguilera, and I'm just uh, like, what the? Yeah, it's so bad. I mean, first of all, what is going on with her? I mean, she's I so, think she's tacky. I think she, she goes to, to a, a makeup school, and she just lets them work on her. I mean, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> she, she has so right. much potential, and she used to be darling and look adorable. Just lately, I don't know what is going on either. with her, and this is another example of it. Okay, audience. Who do you think wore it best, huh? Scarlett! All right. Well, I say Scarlett Johansson. Yeah! Yeah! Who's next? Now we have Diane Kruger versus Sarah Michelle Gellar in Chanel. First of all, it's the same dress, you know, literally, but uh, one wore it in 2007 yeah. and one wore it in 2010, and they just removed the arms because it must have stank. Can you imagine? <laughs> Three years later, here, wear this. <laughs> oh, but that's God. what they do. The Chanel archives are vast. Wow. Yeah, and if a sample isn't made for production, it just gets like trotted out every once in a while for the actresses to wear. We all asked you at home who wore it best, and you said Sarah Michelle Gellar. Absolutely, 89% yeah. you said that. Yeah. Let's start with Nicole Scherzinger. She is at the Jingle Bell Ball in London. She's a very homebody kind of person, and that's why she wears this dress, because she's doing her grocery list. I need melons and chicken breasts <laughs> and <laughs> pillows and snow globes and uh, who else? Oh, yes, and I need two bald Asian men. I mean, I <laughs> Ladies, you have to buy a dress that fits your boobs and then take in the rest. The hair is all wrong. She's trying to do this 50s look, but you're supposed to pull the hair back. We didn't have extensions down to here in the 50s. It's yeah, not but the boobs. Oh, sorry. That's back what to men the boobs. like. <laughs> I it's like a, the boobs. But I, I mean, like let's be honest. A pair of that look like an ass. Oh, <laughs> Halle Berry's rack. It was in Malibu. Yeah. Oh, and there it is. Had, uh, really good boobs. Yeah, she looks great. I just did a shoot with her for the Hollywood Reporter. She is so beautiful, gorgeous, phenomenal, wow. perfection. I would have sex with her. Oh! So, oh, gorgeous. Oh. That's a I mean, I'm telling you. Her boobs are unbelievable. I mean, they probably are the one of the, you know, the best rack in Hollywood. Yeah. If yeah. She really them. does have a fabulous body. Julianne Hough versus Courtney Love in Marquesa. Well, I think whoever let Julianne Hough carry that bag on the red carpet should be fired. But aside from that, because it's huge, it's ridiculous. Aside from that, I think her hair and makeup is beautiful. I think she yeah. looks beautiful in the dress. Courtney actually looks better in it because it fits her figure right. It's not too long. It doesn't drown her. And, and the accessory is perfect because she has a chair to lean on, <laughs> which for her is very important. I was, you guys, I was at that event. It was too short on her. It wasn't a long dress and it wasn't yeah, but a short why dress. Would they oh, let, why would Juliana wear a dress that Courtney Love wore a month earlier? Oh, yeah, I was confused Huge about faux that. Why exactly that? one month earlier Huge to the day pas. she wore it. Yeah. If you're a 25-year-old and you know Courtney Love wore your dress a month earlier, I'm sure she was like, I'm going to look better than her anyway. I don't right. care. You know? <laughs> she didn't. Okay. <laughs> Audience, before I tell you who I thought wore it best, who do you think wore it best? Courtney. Courtney, yeah. absolutely. Okay, Courtney. Now, who do we have next? We have Chloe Sevigny versus Liv Tyler. They're both wearing Chanel. She looks like the night manager 
and a lesbian Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> she really does. <laughs> and she's really pissed because she cannot remember what the 11th herb is. And she's going, <laughs> You know, the shoes and the styling is both really off with both of them, whether yeah. it's the black one or the white one. I actually think that this suit should have been worn to a day event, like a, a ladies' luncheon, and with not boots and not flat shoes, but a nice heel. There's no question Liv looks better. Liv does yeah. look better. better. And I, I like think Liv looks nice. I, I like black on black. You hear that? Oprah and Gail. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> now, we asked you at home who wore it best, and you said, Live Tyler Ward best with 89% yes. of us. Yes. Right. Just relaxing, you know what you do. It's like, like why, bo why bother wearing a swimsuit at I this point? Why bother? I keep looking for where is her blowhole. And <laughs> <laughs> Watch. <laughs> but that, see, those are not vagina shoes. It's just that she couldn't get her hoofs in, they split. <laughs> one with 63 percent far got 37 percent and they were right may i tell you because she looks like the lobby of a vegas casino which is fitting because once you're inside it you lose all track of time <laughs> <Make sense. laughs> anyway, john my mother watches this show well tell her not to wrong democrat let's look at her i've styled amber before and she's got I've long it before i have i have, I have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you just starved everybody. <laughs> Why sit fire. here? Nothing. <laughs> First of all, I love watching her play because she. Uh, 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 and she's married to a six foot seven guy. Can you imagine when they make love? Uh, uh, uh. The, the poor neighbors, they all wait for her period. <laughs> She looks like a fat cow. <laughs> I'm just saying that because I heard on the show you're supposed to mix it up. I don't know. She looks like a goddess. Paula looks absolutely great in this outfit, but she really can't take credit for it. Her imaginary friend told her to wear it. <laughs> Katy Perry and Jennifer Aniston both have fragrances out this holiday season, and Katy's is called. Her, which was actually her second choice for a name. The first choice was going to be, wait, I married who? But it didn't, <laughs> didn't fit on the bottle. What can I say about the color? Uh, thank God she's not going to be in any hunting accidents lately. <laughs> if you think that's a lot of bling on Kim's dress, you should see all the rocks she stuffed up her vagina. <laughs> Jennifer is going to be in the new X-Men movie, and her mutant power is, obviously, color blindness. <laughs> you know what's nice about Jane Lynch? You know you're the top lesbian in town when your assistant's office is under your skirt. <laughs> the Black Swan premiere in New York City. Natalie Portman in this dress by Christian Dior. Ooh. Nice. What I didn't like is that she's carrying a book. You know what I mean? You know what that says? It says, this movie sucks. I'm so bored. I'm going to read through it. And I, I know it's a purse, but wrong, it sends the wrong message. Joan, I totally agree with you. It's just nice. It's, this is her big moment. This is a big movie premiere. Basic black is not something you wear. It needed, like, just something to give it some oomph. I just think that black's a bad choice to wear when you have a black background because you can't see the shape of your body. And I just think she looked over it and a little bit unhappy. Yeah, I think she could have done better. She's such a gorgeous girl with an amazing figure, and this dress just does her no justice. And I agree with this bag. They are actually selling out of these bags that are really hot right now, but just not to this premiere. Maybe to a cocktail party or something kind of fun and yeah. whimsical, but not a serious premiere. Too gimmicky. It, how about Mila Kunis at the same premiere in this dress by Ellie Saab? Uh, gorgeous, Ooh. gorgeous! And look, at she's a movie star. Her big break was on that 70s show. Mm -hmm. And she is standing there and she is thinking, I'm going to have a movie career come hell or high water. I will never work with Vilma Vanderama, whatever his stupid name is, ever again. <laughs> it's over. 
Wilmer Valdivar. Oh, that's Wilmer I can't. She's finished with it. <laughs> Sean, I totally agree with you. It's gorgeous, this dress. It's just enough plunge to keep you staring, but all of this Fortuny pleating, which is you know very tiny oh. pleating, only works on a very slim girl like this. Otherwise, curvy girls will give you know abs weight. I think she looks absolutely stunning. I love the way that she went with a little bit of a more edgy shoe because it, it keeps it young, it keeps it fresh without going too far. And it's just such a beautiful color on her. This is more of a shape that I envision on Natalie Portman. Exactly. She looks fantastic. Anna Wintour and Carrie Mulligan, both in Lan Van. Please keep it down in the library. I mean, look at her. She looks so old in that dress. She looks like she's coming out of the early bird special. Do you know what I'm saying? I got to get home before it gets dark. My kids worry. <laughs> well, I think that it's actually a really appropriate length for Anna Winter, yeah. and I like the cardigan over the shoulders. I, I'm kidding. I, I like Anna Winter in this better. Is it like Anna's reminding you of like your Nana? Is that why you're attracted to this? Because I think Carrie looks so much better. It's just a very better. ladies who lunch dress. No, I love it. Oh, so and yeah. I think that, you know, taking it and then not putting a cardigan and making it shorter makes it work for Carrie Mulligan. I like it on both of them. Okay, audience, who do you think wore it better? Carrie. I agree. No Carrie. question. Carrie, Carrie Mulligan. All right. Yeah. Who's there? Jenny McCarthy versus Ava Mendez in Stella McCartney. Okay, buy a full bottle of tan. <laughs> yeah. Don't what? just stop at the waist. I think Jenny totally knocked it out of the park in yeah, this she, one. Yeah, she walked past me at the AMAs and I was like, damn, you look so hot. And I didn't yeah. even realize that this was the same dress. Yeah. Here's my thing, and I, I like it on Jenny. I think she looked amazing on the AMAs. But there's something about Ava with the nonchalant ease yeah. Yeah. Oh, that well, really appeals it to me. It looks like she's wearing a beach cover up. Okay, Come but on. I feel like Jenny's too Tarzan for me. <laughs> anyway, we asked you at home who wore it best, and you all said, da dum da dum, Jenny McCarthy at 65%. All right. Rihanna and Ellie Saab. Oh. Absolutely perfection. Her eyes say, you can sleep with me, fellas, <laughs> but don't fall asleep. <laughs> She's a star. This is perfection. I love the hair. Oh. All of the appliques strategically placed. This is the way to wear sheer. She looks amazing. Exactly. I was just about to say that. She's breathtaking. Her hair is so much better now that it's not fire engine red. And to mix it with a dress that kind of picks up the, the oh. higher highlights in her hair, and it just like, she knows how to work a dress. This is how you do it. And I'm a huge Ellie Saab fan, and this is, this is why. Miley Cyrus in Marquesa. She's turned 18 this week, causing God knows how many guys in Nashville to breathe a big sigh of relief. <laughs> This dress is like the haircut that her dad was famous for. It's like business in the front and party in the back. Yeah. And you know, this is novice red carpet dressing. It's a nice change to see her wear something that's a little bit more grown up, but then she stays true to the the, the young, you know, teenager inside of her with the great big bow. And it looked beautiful when she waved like she Oh, it looked like she knew it, it looked I like she was it. farting. <laughs> and then went up in the air. And you thought, oh boy, am I glad. Look at that. I look at that. Beautiful. Paris Hilton and Zoe Saldana in Louis Vuitton. Why wear it? Why buy it? You know it's gonna, <laughs> three weeks, you're gonna get it off a discount rack somewhere. I, it's so ugly. I just can't believe I'm saying, I want to see skin on Paris Hilton. She's too covered up, she looks matronly. She's it's... trying to be the girl next door now because she got busted for coke, remember that? So the tights. <laughs> well, at least look cute when you're doing it. I think that Zoe makes this dress look design it, look chic, look Zoe one of a kind. Fabulous. But you know what's so funny is Zoe wore it 10 months before Paris, which shows that Zoe got it from Louis Vuitton and yeah. Paris bought it at the department store. Yeah. Well, okay. no, 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 no. Louis Vuitton is not loaning to Paris Hilton. There, no. There's a hierarchy and she's not uh, up there. Let's ask the audience. Saying. Let's ask the audience. Yeah. Who do you think? Which one? Paris or Zoe? Zoe! Zoe. We're great. Absolutely. Absolutely. Zoe. Good audience. All right, next picture. Kira Knightley and Leah Michelle in this dress by Erdem. I'm Look at those Leah. vacant faces. <laughs> that fabric just sucked out their souls. I, I, it's just... I don't like it on either girl, but at least you know, Kira looks like a runway model in it. Yeah. Exactly. And there's, there's something 
about Leo. Like when I first saw her come into the Hollywood scene, I thought, what a cute, fun girl that loves singing musicals. There's no other girls like that, that like me, that love show tunes, and and that's the way that they, you know, get into Hollywood. And she now has this look about her, like I'm the. Sh and I think it's kind of unappealing. Uh -huh. That's a good point. Like yeah. she's like too big for her britches now. Like and it's she's moved too fast through the Hollywood cycle. But what, I have what to about agree. The dress? the dress is horrible. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if like, you can make Kira Knightley look terrible, you're bad. Yeah. yeah, and, and, yeah but, but Leah, <laughs> Leah is like wearing the Jewish version of this. You know what I'm saying? Like it's been cut off, and everything you know looks better after a circumcision. <laughs> Emma Watson wearing this dress by Rafael Lopez. I think she looks so sweet and young and she's bright and she's a millionaire. The only thing I think the balance is a little bit off because she cuts the hair totally gone from the top, but she lets the bush grow wild. And I don't have that inside. I love it, but you know, her pixie haircut lets her dress sexier, so I don't even mind the peekaboo bra. What I love about this dress is that this is the perfect message to all young girls out there. You can look sexy without looking like a slut. She's an absolute doll. She's worth $32 million, yes. we just found out. Yes. And she looks it, though, because she looks fabulous. Yeah. And somewhere in England, Kira Knightley has just thrown a teacup across the room. <laughs> 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 Mariska Hargitay, Vera Wang. I think she looked beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Simple, gorgeous, star-like. I'm crazy about her. Jo, I agree. I think she looked very Jane Mansfield. I mean, yes. I loved how it was That's corseted. What I thought too. I, you know, Jane would have made it like this much smaller, but she looks amazing. And say that Jane Mansfield was her mother and a huge sex symbol. A lot of people don't know that. They and need to look and it the up. thing is, for me, I was such a huge Law and Order fan. So when I saw them there, I was like, yes. But then I was like, double yes, because they both looked great. It was a little wedding to me, um, I gotta be honest. Good maybe dress. second wedding. Yeah, it was just, I, I would have liked to see it maybe in a different color. I just felt being Vera Wang, it felt just slightly bridal, slightly bridal. Christina Hendricks, Zach Posen. Where do we start? Where do we start, my darlings? Call FEMA. This is a disaster. <laughs> it's like a prince's own communion dress. If Jim Henson did clothes. <laughs> <laughs> It's just, okay. and she, three of the most talented girls in Hollywood just walked past. Three. That, she needs a milking stool. I mean, what is that? What do you think? Well, I was in the skybox, aka the cleavage cam, and I, you know, they her breasts were just enormous. However, when I looked at it in photos, I actually, I like it. I do. I think, I think that you're insane. I like it. I <laughs> think photos are yeah. I think it references. It, it looks just like the dress I wore for my Foxtrot in Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> <laughs> See, and the thing is that she's one of the most naturally sexy women I've ever met in my life. Like, she oozes sex appeal. Mm -hmm. She doesn't need to dress matronly. I, I don't think I it's matronly, it. matronly oh, at all. It is. I love I, it. I'm it's straight, and this this turned me on. Like I like seeing her boobs. I like seeing her body. This She's turned you was on. Yeah, I thought she looked really pretty. I, I don't. I thought she looked romantic and pretty. I didn't like the sleeves. Yes. But I thought I love that she shows off her body. And it, I love she has an amazing body. She's no choice. But the <laughs> well, this Okay, Elizabeth Moss, Donna Karen. Okay, I thought this was beautiful. It was peachy colored kind of a golden look. Again, that same silhouette, which is boring me to death, but I think it's a beautiful silhouette, if that's the silhouette. I think she looked like fabulous 1930s screen siren. Yeah. I think she nailed it. She was like very Norma Shearer-esque. And it was it, it, just such a lovely color with her skin tone, and she didn't go too far with the hair and makeup. I think she just looks beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful, too. I love the train, too. It really elongated her, because she's petite. She, I didn't realize how small she is. Yeah, and so the train yeah. elongates her. Great choice. January Jones Don't and Versace. Go there. Don't go there. Don't Here go there. Here we go. This woman obviously uh -huh. has a yeast infection, and the doctor <gasps> said to her, aerate it. I, I never in my life. And she was a double whammy, a terrible dress, 
and a bad hair day. I thought nobody can have that at the same time except maybe Drew Barrymore. I love her I hair. Miss, it's, oh. I, I love think her hair. Oh. this look, I see, this looks like a piece of art to me, and I would have yes. loved it if it was more, if it was just a 50s, very simple shape. If she wore nude shoes, pulled her hair back, made it very simple. I would have loved it as a Transformers dress, and if she could take another layer off, and it was mini for the parties. That's what I said to you when we were, we were yeah. first looking at it, when we were on the balcony. And it just seems to me that if the dress was a mini dress, I would rip that dress off of her and steal it. That'd be but fabulous. The boobs look like coffee filters. <laughs> and oh. I, I have to say that the hair, oh. I love the hair. I, I love, love the, the color. color. I just don't this like dress, it. I think, is gorgeous. I love the hair too because it's it's like kind of messy and it, I, it's. I bow down to this dress. I really do. Versace is so fashion forward, so cutting edge. That's not think fashion we're forward. We're going to see this, this headline is... more and more and more in the upcoming years, and there, she's doing it the first. Versace had a better senior shoes. moment. Okay, better shoes. I agree. She could have so done new shoes. She she a senior done... moment for Versace. <laughs> <laughs> Kira Sedgwick, Monique Lulier. Oh my God. Let's go back to the other one. January. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? I mean, she <laughs> when you start, just the dress, maybe they said from afar, people kept, people kept saying from afar it was beautiful. Avatar, that's how far you had to be to think that. And she looked terrible. It was, it was just, I don't know. I, I, I didn't like hate, it. I didn't hate this either. I think it's too long. I think it breaks too up. Too heavy. It's, it, it's very heavy. It's a, lots of ruffles, which means she this must be very, very, very thin. I hate sun-kissed hair, but I actually like it here because otherwise she would have looked very princessy. To me, her hair is her thing. I like the way her mm -hmm. hair is. I do think that if it was the winter, I think that dress would have worked. But because it was so hot outside and everyone was in like really thin fabric, it made her stand out more. She looked like Glenda the Good Witch. <laughs> I, thought, I thought she looked really pretty, Kira Sedgwick. Last year, I did not like her dress. She looked a little Dolly Parton. Remember that last year? And and this year, I thought I thought she did it right. I love this deep plum color with her beautiful blonde hair and that skin. I thought she looked great. Plum color, it was the pits, guys. <laughs> the nominees for Worst Dressed Male are Ryan Murphy and Neil Patrick Harris. Mm. Okay, and our pick, everybody hands. Okay, hands. Our pick for Worst Dressed Male is Neil, Neil Patrick, Patrick Harris. Harris. Yeah. That, I'm sorry, that jacket was so ugly, I'm starting to wonder if he's really gay. I cannot believe it. <laughs> <laughs> now, the Best Dressed Male, uh, Juliana nominees. Well, the nominees for Best Dressed Male are John Hamm and Jimmy Fallon. And the Best Dressed Male hands okay. is Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon. Fallon. <laughs> because the whole show was wonderful and he was yeah. wonderful. He looks great. Oh, he looks yeah. great. Now, Worst Dressed Females, George. The nominees for Worst Dressed Female are Anna Paquin, January Jones, and Mindy Kaling. This was a difficult one. Yeah. And the worst dressed female is Anna, Anna Paquin. Anna, you've heard of Matador. You look like a matter whore. Oh! Wrong, <laughs> Anna, wrong. Now, finally, <laughs> the nominees for best dressed female mm. are Claire, Claire Dane. Yes, I'm sorry. Leah Michelle and Julia Louis Dreyfus. Oof. And the winner, I know, this I was know. Tough. This, this was, was tough. This was a tough one. Tough one. Best dressed female is Leah, Leah Michelle. Michelle. And that's because yes. first time as a nominee, mm -hmm. and she I thought really, we thought she really pulled it together. Miley Cyrus Everleger. And I think she looks great. She's at that horrible age where she's going <laughs> from teenager to sex symbol, yeah. and they yeah. dressed her so well. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? I'm going to have to say Miley is one of my best dressed nominees because I thought she was so appropriate for the yeah. Grammys. Mm -hmm. This was rock and roll. It fit her like a glove. She looked so much like a star on that carpet, and uh, I, I loved it. So I feel like you have so many best dressed nominees, but I, I kind of love it. No, but I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I think Miley looks great. She looks age appropriate and a little edgy. I, I love it. I think she's she's doing her own thing. Yeah, I got to say, I thought Miley looked terrific. Great hair and makeup, by the way. Mm -hmm. And three words words for Miley. Hot, hot, hot. Yeah. She looks gorgeous. <laughs> Carrie Hilson, Dolce & Gabbana. Oh, I just think pretty in pink. I don't know if it's right for the Grammys, but it's certainly a beautiful gown. She looks like a star. Thank you. You just took the words right out of my mouth. This is something I want to see at the Golden Globes. When I saw this come down the carpet, I went, really? The Grammys? <laughs> 
really. I, it, it felt kind of like a bit of like a rejected bridesmaid <laughs> gown. I, it just didn't fit. Yeah, it's so weird to me because Carrie Hilson has so much style in any other day. She's really funky and trendy mm -hmm. and fun, and this was so boring and mm -hmm. so SAG Awards or any other red carpet. Yeah, right. She could wear anything. I mean, let's break it down. This girl's got a terrific figure, but you're right. This dress was not appropriate for the Grammys. Jonas Brothers, Joe and Dolce & Gabbana. Oh, what am I going to say? It's predictable. It's like grandmas want to crunch their cheeks and teenage girls want to do a lot of other things to them. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> you know what? Their look, I mean, they, they come off like these kind of cool crooners and this looks like they did this last year. Actually, they did do this last year. They kind of did a variation on a tux. I would love to see them break out and do something different. Again, I'm all for creativity at the Grammys. If I had my way, I'd say more Gaga. I would have loved to see a guy mm -hmm. do Gaga and just knock everyone off their socks. Um, I think Joe Jonas, I like that he's trying to be a little different than the other brothers, I guess. But mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like, I don't know. I have no idea what to say because I, I feel like we've judged them 14 million times and it's it the exact cute. same stuff. I liked it. I don't like the brother with the tux, but I like the middle one. Joe looks Isn't cute, that the Joe one? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, who's, I can never I don't figure know out what you out. guys. Who's we, Joe? We have missed the point. <laughs> this is to show what you should wear morning, noon, and night. Look at that. You wear that to business, then you wear that for casual, right. mm -hmm. and there you are for black tie. Right. They're like an ant. You're right. All right, I got worst dressed female. Okay. All right, so we and we kind of all know who this is. Come on, we could say this together, right? One, One two, three. three. Brittany! Brittany. Yeah, uh. but I mean, she needed some pants, but we're going to give an honorable mention to Imogene Heath. Yeah. For worst dressed female. She's, Come on. She's like so the poor bad. man's Lady Gaga. Okay, <laughs> now, worst dressed male. Worst dressed male, and I think we all know who this is. T-Pain. Yeah, I mean, I don't know where he thought he was going, but not to the Grammys. That was awful. <laughs> mm -hmm, he was like a disaster. Uh -huh. Okay, Juliana, who have you got? I've got best dressed male. We all know who this is. Seal. Uh, See, I was going to say Heidi Klum. <laughs> Heidi Klum. Uh, you know, he looked great. He just looks yes. flawless. He looks perfect for the Grammys. <laughs> and that's why we picked him as best dressed male. Okay, and now I finally get to crap the best dressed female of the 2010 Grammys, and the winner is... <laughs> it's a tie! <gasps> it's a tie! I'm so excited! <laughs> and the tie is between Carrie Underwood and, and Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift! Very nice. For sure. Just look Country great. girl. Country girl. Looking hot. <laughs>